A source tells Fox 59 that the Big Ten men's basketball tournament is coming back to Indianapolis. The tournament was supposed to be in Chicago this year. Now we're still waiting to hear the reason for that change, but a return to Indianapolis would come just before the NCAA men's tournament arrives in March. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid spoke to restaurant owners who are eager to welcome more basketball fans next month. It was here at O'Reilly's Irish Bar and Restaurant in downtown Indianapolis where I was almost 11 months ago when COVID-19 called a foul and the Big Ten basketball tournament was called off. Well, now it looks like the Big Ten is coming back to Indianapolis. This is what it looked like on that day in O'Reilly's Irish Bar and Restaurant last March when the Big Ten tournament fouled out just before a tip-off. Nearly a year later, the tables are empty at midday, as they are most days at O'Reilly's, as owner Joel Wrights hopes that the Big Ten will finish next month what it halted last year. Exactly, finish what they started. Or, you know what, with anticipation, we'll start over again and it'll be better than before. Next door at Coach's Tavern, a decal reserves a corner of the bar for the mayor of Indianapolis, Joe Hogsett, where the COVID slowdown has left plenty of elbow room along the foot rail. January and February are usually our slowest months, and then we, we ramp up into March and just keep it going. Last summer, the city spent more than $7 million to COVID-proof the convention center. Since then, more than 50,000 people have visited downtown, participating in more than 30 conventions and sporting competitions, and health officials say without any indication that any of those indie trips have turned into super spreader events. Downtown hotels will house March Madness teams in relative isolation. The Indiana Convention Center will host practice courts for the players, and state and local health departments will coordinate with the NCAA for regular COVID testing of all participants. It is a big rush of adrenaline to get that and just know that we're gonna we're gonna have a huge month business-wise and and our city is going to be in the showcase, the spotlight. And so we can show it off and see, and see tell, show the world how great Indianapolis is. Maybe generating, hopefully, a lot of locals coming back downtown to spend some money like that and reinvigorate uh, the economy here downtown. Last year, the men's and women's Big Ten tournament was estimated to bring $15 million to Indianapolis. Of course, that was with the stands full of fans. Whether or not fans can attend these upcoming basketball tournaments is yet to be determined. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.